Hey Terrarians, how's it going? My name is Pixelated Fireball, and welcome back to the Spirit Mod. And uh, as you can see, we're in a little bit of trouble tonight because the Blood Moon has arisen. And there's big monsters down there, like that guy, Skeleton Brute. Have we seen him before? He looks very familiar, but I don't remember whether or not I killed him. Also, I think I saw a Flesh Hound down there somewhere. Running around, there he is. There goes the meatball dog. That's my favorite kind of dog, the meatball dog. But yes, we finally have a blood moon showing up and we are ready to commit some great murder. And uh, if you can't tell, my minions are a little bit different this time. Long gone are the days of the butterfly. And it has been replaced with the locust, which is the new summon weapon from Scatabius. Whomst I fought a couple of times because I wanted to get his scarab set. All right. I wanted to grab that if I can find it. It's it's on here somewhere. Hang on a second. I just need to go more than three seconds without being interrupted by the giant eyeballs and meatball monsters. There it is, the chitin set. Throw this on. It's kind of interesting because it has a little bit less defense than the Florin set. And the set bonus is not quite as survival oriented, but it does give me a passive dash, which is really good because we got ourselves a, a bandit. I believe is who he is. Daryl has shown up, because I've expanded my base some more. Move things around if you couldn't tell. Got some more NPCs. I'm kind of running out of room again already. Every time I add more boxes, it gets a little worse. And I decorated it a little bit, so you know what? It's kind of pretty. But we got this guy, right? And he sells a lot of things. Now he's got a rogue set, which looks like it's got, like, absolute god-awful stats. So we might take a look at that, but probably not. And we've got the rogue's crest. This is what I really wanted. It is a summon accessory. One defense summons a rusted sword to fight for you. The sword does not take up minion slots. And it can be upgraded eventually later on down the line in hard mode. But I wanted to grab that and throw it on. So I could have like a, uh, a passive sentry, I guess you could say. There we go. Look at that. It's going to work. It's quite a good stabbing. Some of the other stuff this guy sells is uh, a lot more mobility oriented or some of the nice little like gimmicky range stuff. Decorative stuff like a loot chest and the psycho mask of course from Borderlands big fan of the second one Not so much a fan of the first one and I never played the third one but Borderlands 2 I'm telling you what handsome Jack one of my favorite uh, Early 2000s, I guess or early 2010s. I think it was uh, Villain quite a guy. He was the definition of uh, a bastard. He really was he was uh, a challenge to deal with because the whole time from start to finish he would always be there to taunt you and make fun of you and tease you and all I gotta say is butt stallion, okay? Those of you that have never played Borderlands before, you don't know nothing about any of that, but everybody else, you know, butt stallion. <laughs> it's, uh, it's silly. Look it up, definitely. Actually, you know what? You probably shouldn't Google butt stallion. Turn on in private browsing and make sure your mom and dad's not around because, you know, I don't want this coming back to me now, all right? Oh, ball man told me to Google butt stallion and it awoke something in me that was dormant for so long. You know, I'm good. Yeah, I don't want that responsibility. Hey, another chest zombie. Very nice. And we have another chest full of another things. And we got his hammer too, by the way, that big guy's hammer, brute hammer. Oh God, look at this. Oh, wow. That's neat. That's just neat. Here it comes. Ah, ha, ha. Ah. You know, this is nice. I like this. This is enjoyable. Oh god, and slammo! Okay, it kind of didn't really work, but that's fine. My minions are in need of strengthening. Where is the guy that's supposed to show up for this here? There's supposed to be a guy. What is it? A, uh, um, uh, some, something, a cultist? Is that the one? That's the one, I think, yeah? He's supposed to show up. God, how are these guys getting in? I fell down. I dropped down too low. Oh, I had six platinum in my inventory? That's kind of rough. It's fine, I'm not going anywhere. <laughs> You're never gonna escape me, so that guy needs to die. There we go, now we're good, we're fine. Alright, summon more minions. Go out there and do the murder. I think that I'm just at enough of a range that I can get away with this. The whipping right here, maybe, maybe not, I don't know, I can't really tell. Come on, give me my gold back. Give me all my gold back. Okay, now we're going to put it away. I was busy playing mini games with the chests over here, listen, I can't help it. I have a horrible crippling gambling addiction, and there's nothing that can be done about it. Because, I mean, look at that. That is so satisfying. It's always a waste of time and money, but you know what? I don't care. It's worth it. Let me look at my quest log here and see if there's anything related to blood moons. Screech owls? No. Flowery fiends, spectral scourge? Yes, there is something for this. 
in case he shows up. See, I'm learning. I'm pushing buttons. Okay, I'm paying attention to the comments. I am. Oh, yeah, there we go. Money trough. That's what I'm talking about. I'm very happy about that. I'm gonna get rid of this piggy bank. Goodbye. Ah, sorry. I didn't mean to yell. It just slips out sometimes. Don't you just hate it when you're out and about minding your own business and all of a sudden you just kind of, ah, and then it just goes back to normal after that? Doesn't that bother you? It drives me nuts when it happens. You know, I'm starting to think that the occultist doesn't want to play. Kind of disappointed. I spent that whole night for nothing. Oh, I got a bladed glove. Oh, joy. I'll try not to get too excited. Well, we're gonna have another one, because I want that summon set from him. I definitely do. But I guess in the meantime, we can go back about our business now. We've done pretty good in terms of progression. So I think today, unless the Jelly Deluge comes back, then I shall come back here and I will deal with that. But for the time being, we're gonna go out and we're gonna do some quests. That's what I'd like to do, knock out some of these guys. So, I am going to activate all of the jelly quests here. Make sure that I have all these good. And we are going to see what all I can knock out right now. Capture two blossom moons. Hmm, sanctuary night lights, a luminous floater, heart to the cause, retrieve a life crystal. That's easy enough, we'll turn that on. I can get that in my adventures. Cacophonous cries. Screech owls, huh? Winter hat. I'm guessing this is an ice biome thing? Every night, huh? Okay, go to the ice biome at night. Okay, we'll do that, we'll do it. Flowery fiends. Ooh, 12 feral shamblers, wildwood watchers, blossom bounds, or thorn stalkers. A naturalist workshop, I have yet to do that. Oh, can I not turn on any more of these? Am I at my limit for quests? Okay, well that's fine then, we'll come back and do some more later. But maybe I can knock all these out today, with the exception of the... Uh, the Spectral Scourge. Let's head over here first. We'll, uh, take this down because it's here. Deal with this, uh, the Briar monstrosities. It doesn't want me to kill the slimes, it wants me to kill, uh, these guys. Alright, here we go. Kill them. Kill them dead. There we go. Alright. It's two, and three, and four, and five, and six, and seven, eight, nine. Off camera kill. 10, 11, and 12. Just like that. Oh, God. What? Excuse me. You got a new quest. Fight of the Valkyries. Zombies. Why zombies? She's a maniac. To go deeper in creepy crawlies. I'm just getting started. You're throwing it all at me. All right, fine. Let's see what you got as a reward for that, then. All right, so we got Brew of Immunity. Immune to Feral Bite. Floor and Hunting Charm, Enchanted Leaf, and Silver Coin. Interesting. That sounds like it could be pretty useful. Can pop it on and off real fast, just to uh, make sure that I can get rid of the debuff when it's there, as is customary for oh so many of those immunity trinkets. Well, if that's done, what else have I unlocked? I mean, look at this. Here I am trying to get this done here, and now you're causing me problems. Hmm. All right, let's go down the line, I guess. Why don't we start top to bottom instead of doing that? All right, so let's start from the top. All right, it's not a jelly deluge yet. Below the waves, we can do that one. Grab five sulfur deposits from hydrothermal vents, return to the angler, explore the ocean depths. And I will get a fish lure, direct schools of fish in the nearby water, copper coins, and a coral catcher. Detects hooked fish. All right, cool. There we go. So I'm going to need a water breathing potion for sure, because, you know, I like being alive. No, not a water breathing. It's called gills. It's it's gills potion. There we go. We can craft one of those. Got some coral, which I believe, yeah, makes a, a jellyfish minion that I can use to fight if I could find five of them. But I, I think locust crook is probably going to be a little better for me. Does more of the big damage. You know what I mean? That's important to me. So let us go. We're going to go to the other side. I don't know why it always sends me up to the meteorite side first. I don't want to go to the meteorite side. Here we go, roly poly ball. Down we go. Da 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 da. All right, here we are, down at the bottom of the ocean, and now we're looking for hydrothermal vents. Is that these guys? Oh yeah. There we go. All right, we've explored. Cool. All right, I had to explore it first. Crinoid. All right, we got this. What's going on here? Let's open them all up. We got some stuff. Luminous prowler. Oh god, what was that thing? I have no idea. Iridescent scale. And there's the deep cascade shard. So, Cascade set, Helmet, Greaves, Increased Movement in Water, Knockback Resistance, and Underwater Breathing. And it's got a mount! Summons a rideable manta ray. The ray is incapable of moving on land. Okay, cool. So it's a purely aquatic mount. Oh, that's a shame that the ocean, while it is massively overhauled in the spirit mod, is still kind of bare bones. Okay, we got something else. Warding Sea Snail Venom. You leave a trail of mucus that envenoms enemies. Actually giving me venom, like genuine venom debuff, huh? 
That is pretty cool. We might throw that on. I'm going to mix some stuff up. I might not be using the optimal build, but you know what? I I think it's great that I can just run around and kill stuff. I think that's great. All right, moving on then. We have iridescent scales. More ranged. Increased momentum in the water. That's cool. Reef trident, melee, man-eater skull. Summons a skull infested by man-eater worms that fire red mucus at nearby enemies. Is that a... a sentry? I'm guessing. So I just need 12 of those and three lenses. That's all right. I got the power of poison steps, so I can come down here and do some killing. I'm fine with that. What do we got going on here? Tube worms. Why do I just collect all this stuff here? Are they good for anything? Crinoid? Oh, that's pretty good bait. We got pale crab. That's bait. That's right. It's all bait. Shimmerable into pale crab. Well, that's good. I'm glad I can shimmer pale crabs into pale crabs. Yo, dog, heard you like pale crabs, so I'll put some pale crabs in your pale crabs so you can have pale crabs with your pale crabs. I love the soundtrack down here, too, to be honest with you. I'm just kind of down here vibing to the ocean beats. Right now, I'm not really doing anything else. Oh, God, I'm running out of breathing. Come on, one more monster. Where's all the monsters down here? I'm gonna have to go back and make a second trip. What a shame. Oh, while well, I'm back, I guess I can turn this into the angler wherever he went. Oh, you have something else to say too, do you? Okay, well, while I'm here, I guess I'll pick this up and return to your roots. You know what? While I was trapped down there, I noticed something. Apparently, all the roots into the briar connect to one central thing. I don't know what it is, but I'm not going to find out for myself, at least not for a while. Can you take a look? So you want me to go down to the briar to basically where the boss arena is and see what's up? I mean, I guess I can do that. Where's the angler at? There he is. Couldn't find you. Hi there. Hi, are you busy? No. Oh, there we go. All right, cool. This stuff smells really bad. How do fish like this stuff? Why didn't you get me something cooler? Whatever, you can keep it. Go catch me some fish while you're out there next time. All right, well, that's the end of that fishy business. And I should have access to this stuff. Yeah, all right, I got a coral catcher, which I think is an improvement over the reinforced fishing rod that I had uh, by exactly 1%, which is spectacular. Okay, well, I guess since it's nighttime, I think I'm going to uh, call forth the bloody tear again because I really would like to have that stuff. And let me check my quest log to see if maybe I can pull up some of those blood moon quests again. Kill Dr. Bones, Cacophonous Cries, Creepy Call, She's a maniac. Spectral Scourge. I think that may be the only one. Ah, one in the desert. Kill a Valkyrie. Bear necessities. Okay, all kinds of goodies. Oh, God. Hi. Oh, yeah. You just come right up under my house. It's fine. It's, that's okay. That's cool, man. Oh, my God. This guy. I'm telling you what. I was not ready. I was not. I'm just going to stand here and get punched in the face. It's fine. It's not a big deal. You're not hitting them for very hard. And you're not really hitting me for that hard. So I think I can handle you. And there we go. We've defeated him. Oh, look at that. Oh, that is cool. He has a death animation. That is neat. I've defeated the Spectral Scourge, and I got a Sacrificial Dagger. Oh, and it's actually a weapon. That is really cool. I like that. That is pretty neat. May deal extra strikes of damage. Okay, that is cool. I'll use that. I will definitely use that, 100%. Gonna retire the Butterfly. We have our Dream Stride, or what, Dream... Yeah, Dream Stride Essence. Mmm, all kinds of good stuff. I don't know. What I really want is the set. That's really what I'm going for here, so I need a lot of this stuff. I need about 21 of it, huh? And I'm guessing that that guy is the only way to get it. I will put the occult wall scroll up there, I guess. Target bottle I won't ever use. And a pile of skulls. Oh, well, that's good to have, I guess. A yeah, dream stride wisp. That's really the only place that you can get these from. That's all right. I shall farm some more undead scientists. Oh, God going on here? That, that thing's got like a weird thing on his face. What did I get? Flask of gore. Oh. Oh, that's cool. So it's just a flask of guts. That's interesting. All kinds of new stuff for Blood Moons here. That's kind of crazy. Also, I do notice that this new sacrificial dagger does cost mana. So I guess at some point I'm going to have to stack up mana, which is great. Ah, uh, such is the cost of power. Oh, there we go. Dream Stride Essences. Where did these come from? Were there wisps just out floating around? I didn't see any of those. Okay, so there is just wisps floating around everywhere out here in the open then. There's another one. Were they always here like that? Because I don't think I saw any last time. Maybe uh, they only show up after you kill that guy. Oh, nope, there he is. He's back again. He never left. He's still here. A cultist more like a could you just go away, please. <laughs> Heal. Come on. Come on. Get dead in the face. Oh, God. What is going on there? Jeez. Okay, what? What, what, uh, what, what is this giant beam of light? What's happening here? All right, that's different. Okay, I, all I'm noticing really is the gigantic beam of light. I really am seeing a lot of that there. What else did I get now? Godly grasp. As I said, catch these hands. Oh, it's a yo-yo. 
that shoots out shadow flame hands. All right, I got everything I need to make the set. We're good to go. It's all good. Let me away. Let me get back in. All right, please. Inside the base. Pause it all. My God. Yeah, I still don't understand the giant beam of light here, but I'm thinking that that may have something to do with uh, my sword. Maybe. I don't know what this is. I, I don't. I don't understand this. If this is an intentional thing, then cool. You know, giant beam of light. That's neat. All right, blood courts, visage, and the leggings. There we go. And we have the set. What have I got now? Okay, here we go. So, increase movement speed, increase mana, melee damage, chance not to consume ammo and damage, more increased damage, increase max number of minions. My god. Oh wow, and look at that too. That is awesome looking. I got like blood eyes. I'm a vampire lord. Oh god, and it still has the effect even with the mask on, which is kind of cool. I like that. Doesn't really match up with the eyes on the mask, but that's fine. Double tap down to sacrifice 8% of your max health and launch a bolt of dark anima, dealing high damage in a radius. Bolt siphons 10 additional health over 5 seconds. Okay, I will use it on you. Oh god, look at that. The power is mine. Ouch. And I can have a second minion now, which is nice. Alright, cool. Yeah, I think I might uh, I might like that a little more than the, uh, the chitin set. I'm sorry. Cool as you are. All right, let's head back over to the ocean. Now that we have increased power, I may uh, may go back to this side. Now maybe mix it up a little bit. Might do me a little bit more good. And see if we can find any goodies. I am looking for iridescent scales. Does anybody know where I can find any? It's just a bottomless drop off here. So they got rid of the uh, the deep sea cave then, it looks like. Oh wait, I think that might be enough. I think I had nine. Yeah, I think I might actually have enough now. One kill and that was plenty. All right, and now can I make the thing? Yes, man, eat a skull. There we go, mythical even. Wow, look at that. How's that for you? Yeah. Oh, look at that thing. Oh, that is freaky looking. All right, we are getting some power now. Look at me. I radiate excellence. Oh, yeah. Slurm the cool slime. I have the cool slime. And that one increases crit chance mining fortitude and increased items gaining by mining. Fully active with your mining pets. Okay, cool. That's another part of the pets overhaul thing, if you didn't know. They do improve the quality of those other pets as well. All right, we've got a bustling base. We've gone on some serious adventures today. Even though I've done a good bit, I feel like I've done nothing at the same time. So I don't know. Let's go around and do some stuff, I guess. How about quest completion montage? That sounds like fun. Let's do it. Vile wastes, let us explore the corruption. All right, here I go. I'm exploring it. Look at me, yes, big purple stuff everywhere. Very scary, big holes in the ground, thorns everywhere. And we're done. Back we go. Just gives me more quests. Rocky Road? Explore the granite caverns. Okay, sure, we can do that. And on my way, I shall do... To go deeper. We'll knock that one out as well. Antlion crawlers, tomb crawlers, all manner of bug monsters, which I've basically already done. Quite, uh, quite good. All right, bring forth the monsters. Here we go. And one, two, three, and four, and five, and six, and seven. Oh, and there's a heart crystal. I can knock that one out too. Where are we at here? Come on, hive hunting space rocks. Where's the thing? And eight. There we go. Done. And heart crystal. Nice. And a max life. And into the granite hole. Explore the caves. Wow, would you look at that? It's so dark in here. Nice and monotone. Isn't that pretty? Oh my god, would you look at that? Black rocks over here. A little bit of blue, some purple. And just like that, we're done. Okay, moving on. Let's claim the rewards for all these. We got that one. We got that one. And to go deeper. Very nice. I got a music box for the granite caves, and I got a capacitor set, which is kind of neat. And while we're down here, let's explore the blue mushroom biome, and we'll also kill some creepy crawlies. You know what I could do? I could just go back and forth like this, and this counts as exploration. That's kind of funny. Hang on a second, I gotta take the scenic route. I know I haven't set foot in there at all yet, really, but we're about to complete it, and there's that. I guess that's done, then. Cool! Ah, yes, blue, okay. Hold on, I haven't done my explorer's dialogue. Ah, yes, look at the blue, things are shiny. Oh my god, look at the mushrooms, this is cool, kind of trippy. Cha-ching! Hey, look at that, what's that thing? Cavern crawler? Ew. Well, one, I guess. Strange looking. I like how they call him a cavern crawler, but he was not crawling at all. Looked like he was very much so upright. Uh, a biped, if you, uh, if you will. Ah, yes, look at all this. Lambs to the slaughter! Weezer? No, 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 two. And three. We got that giant Shelly dead. And the marble caves. Hello, very nice to see you. Are you gonna count as a marble cave? There we go. And we're gonna take a quick ride through here and go slow and then just run around back and forth. Okay, so this one doesn't really wanna count. 
Hang on, what here? Right here. Oh my god, look, everything is so gray. There's nothing here, just a big gray nothing. And done. Okay, moving on. Next thing we need to do, we gotta go get the thing. I gotta get a chest from a sepulcher. I believe it's still down here, if I am correct. Yes, it is. And we got that knocked out. Cool. Oh, thank you. And oh, thank you. Another creepy crawler. And that's six. This is a hell of a minecart rail. Oh, look, there's another one up there. He's hiding. He thinks that I don't see him, but I'm coming to get his giblets. How about this? There we go. Maneater Skull has delivered me eight. Was that eight? I thought we only had six. Okay, fine, whatever. Not complaining. What did I get? A javelin and a famished weezer. Oh, and while we're here, how about a quiver shroom? Oh, good. Quiver shroom. I remember that one. That was a fun one. It's a little backstory about the quiver shroom for those of you that don't know. Um, we're gonna see if it's easier this time than it was before, because it was pretty... Pretty awful the first time that I ever did it. It was probably the only quest that I didn't like, just on account of the fact that it took forever. Let's just say that it took me so very, very long to finally find the damn thing that I actually hate the Mushroom Biome soundtrack because of it, because I was in it for so long. Oh, would you look at that over there as well? A nice and comfortable, cozy spider cave that definitely is not filled to the brim with a million creepy crawlies. My god. There are a lot of them in there. This looks like a job for the man-eater skull. Ah, yes. True summoner gameplay. Hey, would you look at that? The quiver shroom's over there, too. All I have to do is fight through the legion of giant monsters, and it'll be fine. Almost. Very close. And it's almost cleared out. Can I break through fast enough to get to it? I hope so. Jeepers creepers, I found it. All right, I think we're safe. Oh, no, not safe. There's still a spider. Get back. And you. Do I catch you with a bug net? Yes, I do. Okay, cool. And we got that knocked out. Anything in here? Web slinger? Hollow nail. Hmm. Where have I seen that before? Hey, and would you look who it is? A web stylist. Hello. How are you? Quest. Oh, you have a quest for me too, do you? Okay. If it isn't my favorite customer, lady, I just met you. I need some rare materials to expand my die collection ASAP. Love the die trader style, but his dies don't cut it for me. Sea Mandrake. They have the special sack that'd be wonderful to have. Well, uh, yes, I'll help you with your sea drake sack, but normally I try to avoid that kind of thing. A little bit rude. Hey, well, I guess I completed breaking and entering because I was supposed to go over there and find the tower and rescue the prisoner, but uh, I already did that. So we're good, which means more loot. Yes, loot chest. I shall put the loot chests around everywhere. Sakura Bonsai. Okay, we'll throw down champagne. Yay, hey, celebration. Woo! How long do I have to do this for? Oh, there we go. And that's that. Hey, Mystical Dice! Teleports to a Fathomless Shrine. Okay, let's go. Mmm, what's this? Good luck! I got a compass and a depth meter. What is this? Oh. Black Rock. It's used to make more of these. Mmm. Let's go do some more. Hello? 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 Oh, and I, it seems I've triggered Apotheosis. Oh god, what's that? A Mimic. And there we go. I'd say I found a, uh, a few shrines. All right, well, now that that adventure's over with, I think I may go ahead and call it an episode here, because that was quite a good bit of quests. Went and did a massive montage and got all kinds of the stuff and things. Got a lot of uh, accessories and stuff. A lot of surveyor scrolls that I can put up in pictures and paintings and things. Music boxes, cosmetics, quiver shrooms. We'll put that down. Why not? We'll have that little jiggly fellow there. Throw up our paintings as well. There's a lot of paintings in this. My god, there are so many. So we'll set them up everywhere. Why not? What we have, we'll do. I think I did this last time I played it. I put them all up all over the place. And that'll be that. Like I said, I have done a good bit of questing. For you, but mere moments. For me, it's still pretty much mere moments. I'm pretty well equipped to deal with problems right now, so it's not a big deal. Just go charging forward and murder everything that moves, which is pretty fantastic. So, like I said, I think with all that done today, with the questing completed, it'll be a questy episode. I think I'm going to call an episode here. So, thank you guys so much for stopping by and checking me out. I really appreciate it, and as always, whatever it is, wherever you are, day or night, hope you have a good one of those, and I will see you in the next video. Bye-bye.